Hey guys, what's going on? Trebuck here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2017 here on the UMRV map, the Iowa map. We're on the Wisconsin side right now. And we decided to take the John Deere tractors or the green, the green tractors to the green farm. And we're eventually going to be getting a green pickup, just like those. But anyway, I'm going to be posting 17 here on Squad Farms. Um, probably every other day or every day. We'll see. I'm not sure yet on that. And then if you guys want to see 19 content, Go ahead and go over to my channel. I'm going to be posting 19 over there and 17 on here. And yeah, so if you want to go check that out, uh, the card popped up up here. Should have in the beginning, or if not, there's like a little circle up there. Go ahead and click that. It looks like the. Well, I guess it doesn't look like. In 19, there's a button that looks like it, but in 17, there's not one up there. And it's also in the description if you go down there. So if you want to see 19 videos, go over there. But if you want to see 17, stay tuned for some more. And so yeah, we're going to be kind of just messing around on this map. We, because I don't want to start a series yet. Because I don't want to start a series yet. I don't know. So we'll get this unfolded. We're going to get everything unloaded today. I did go ahead and get everything loaded and to the farms, the right farms. So we'll fire up the Oliver. Fire up the 46. No, oh, it's not a 40. It's a 4520. And we'll fire up 720. So it's so everything's running, getting warmed up. And yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a like giveaway if I get to 10k on my channel. Um, if I get any time, I'm gonna post some stuff to see. Oh, I get, I get a brake light. I didn't know that. It means the other one's a work light. I didn't know that. But yeah, if I get any time, I'm going to create a Google form to see what you guys want to give away. It's nothing. It's going to be nothing big. Um, I'll probably pick whatever's most. Probably nothing, nothing too high. So yeah, we're going to get these unloaded. And we got the case at the Wilson Stables. The John Deere's here with the Dodge. And I think we're gonna do... I don't know what we're gonna do for semis yet. On what farm. I'm thinking Kenworth for Case. Peterbilt for Deer. And we have to get New Holland tractors too. And we have to get implements bought. And we'll get them moved up here. Put away. I'm going back the 720 gasser off. Might take it for a little spin too. I like Gearbox mod on this tractor because it sounds cool it actually sounds like you're starting off in high gear rather than just putt putting like that. Alright, so we got our deer tractors there. We might get another one. And we have our Alice. Alice Chalmers tractors. Now the only blue tractor I got is the T4. Um, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. And I think we're going to kind of like mix in Deutz with it. Just because this Deutz looks pretty sweet. And we'll put duels on that. And then we also got to get a pickup in here. Gotta scroll all the way to the end. So this is going to be kind of like the oddball farm. We're going to get one of them. Kubota. And yeah, it's going to be an oddball farm. We might throw a stagger in there. We'll see. There's the T4. Put a front loader on it because that's going to go to the cow farm, I think. Or I guess we're at the sheep farm right now. Might We should we should have got the farmal. 300 in with the cases. We'll get that one moved to the stable. Wilson Stables. Okay, that, and then we'll unlock it. I think it's unlocked, but I'm not sure. Still locked it down. Oh, because I think I got in that tractor. Now everything's unlocked. We'll fire that one up. Back this one off. And yeah, we do have to run over the fenders on that other one. So we're basically, we're just going to get everything put away, get some machinery bought. Now I'm going to try and match it up so like the plows, we have a John Deere plow, or chisel plow I guess. But like there's a Massey Ferguson plow, so I don't know. I think since I can only find a John Deere one, we'll just run John Deere for plowing. Just the John Deere tractors. Or we might, we'll see, we might run like, just move the plow around, just take it to the John Deere farm see what can pull it and then take it to this farm, see what can pull it, kind of do it that way. 
Yeah, see, we have to jump over the fenders there. With the house jammers, 200. It's got a little three point on the back. This would be kind of like a nice yard tractor. Nice and small, but it's got a good amount of power. We'll back this one in here. And we might, I think we're going to get a Toyota for the oddball farm for a pickup. That's what I'm thinking. So then we got our Chevy here. Now I went ahead and got the Riverbend trailers. They have a lot of weight on the truck. But like everything's like double the size of what the trailer should be. Because the trailer's like super wide and stuff. And it's like really long too. It's kind of weird. But it's really long. Um, I think I'll put it in here. Maybe not. We'll put it in the big shed. And then also we do have to get combines and semi-trailers. Because we're going to be running semis for harvest and gravity wagons and stuff. Color-coded gravity wagons. So it'll kind of be like a red farm, blue farm, orange farm, and then whatever his random that's cool that I find. We got our cooler in there. What else we got in here? Our book, manual, toolbox, um, thermos, not a furnace, thermos. And this is the one that rolls coal like that. Pretty neat. But we'll get these other two tractors put away. And we'll probably go pick the other ones up or we'll start buying some equipment. Now this is actually a high top. Or what do they call what did they call it? High clear. They call it a high clear because you hill your corn. Farm some won't let you hill your hill your corn. So you can cultivate with this. Do stuff like that. It's basically a taller tractor. So that you can hill, you don't break off your corn when you're hilling it. Or beans, depending on how tall they are. Beans you shouldn't break, but mainly corn. And yeah, so that's the 560. It's a pretty tall tractor, actually. About the same height as all of them. Pretty close. And we will jump in. Pick up. We'll go ahead and take this one to town because it's got the biggest flatbed. And it's really fun to drive. See, like, the hitch and everything's just, like, bulky. Like, I don't know if, like, the pickup's just small or if the trailer is. Because the trailer actually, like, somewhat fits down the road. Like, the highway, it actually fits in the lanes. I think the pickup just might be small. I'm not sure, but the scale difference is weird. Okay, so we've made it here to the shop. We're gonna go ahead and pull it in here. Drop the ramp, swing it around. Get it to ready to head out. Now, the little tractor we're going to put on the front. So this one, I don't think it's too heavy. That sounds sweet. This one we'll put on the front. Ooh, it's loud, though. Put this one on the front. The Farmall 300. And we got an Alice. There we go. Load it up. I can't believe they put duels on this stuff. go. Oops, forgot to kill it. There we go. Shut it down. And then we'll put the next smallest, which is the T4. Now we better put a loader on it. We'll find us a loader. Probably do that. Bale spike and the loaders in the beginning. Somewhat match the color. I think it's that one. Mm, nope. Let me just go a little lighter. A little bit lighter color, but then with the blue diamond bale spears, work pretty good. Um, yeah, they they're neat. We should be able to hook the loader on it. Oh yeah, we have to get out and hook it up. Kind of looks weird on here. The loader's kind of big for a, meant for a bigger tractor. There's not really one built small for this one. So yeah, we got a big big loader for it. And just drive it up on her. Uh oh. That's when the loader comes in handy. Just lift the front tires off the ground. There we go. Probably have to do this. Kind of go over it like that. And we'll load up the Kubota. Not bad start sound. And then we'll have to load up the heavy Deutz. Your Deutz Alice. Now that thing's really heavy. Probably use it for dirt work. 
with the Ashland scraper, if it'll run it. I don't know if it will. Might have to get a smaller edit of it. I don't know, will the Deutz fit? We're gonna try and fit it on. This one also rolls cool too. Start sounds pretty good on it. See, it kind of rolls cool like that. It's more of a lesser coal. It's not more black. It's kind of the good, the better coal that I like. Just gonna push that all forward. All right, so the Chevy's gonna have good old load on it. Oh, you can tell. Pretty loaded. Unlock load. Load's locked. Probably should put that toe in there or that boom down. But yeah, we're gonna take this to the pig farm, should we? No, oh, we're gonna jump across tracks. We'll take it to one of them farms up there. Maybe a hay farm. I'm thinking cow farm. Don't really want to take it up there. Maybe we'll go to seven field seven farm. I think we'll go there. We'll go ahead and take these up to a farm somewhere and I'll let you guys know where we're at when we get there. Alright, so we decided to choose this farm. And we're gonna go ahead and get in everything. Start everything up. We'll back it all off. I think we'll park it, put it away later. Let's kinda back it all off here. Real quick, just a Kubota. Good old Kubota. We got the T4. Two-wheel drive. Ooh, and I want to show you guys something. Now this front wheel, normally on a tractor, you don't have front suspension like this. But look at the travel in that. Like you pick it all the way up, and then you drop it. It's like spring-loaded in the front. It's weird. Sure is different. Park that there. Getting a 300. Actually, I think I'll take this to the case farm with me. So that's where I'm going to probably end up going next. Go ahead and fold up the trailer. Probably could move it back though. It'll be alright. It don't weigh too much. I can still drive fine. So we went ahead and dropped those off. Ran over his mailbox. We'll take these to that farm. And then we do have to buy some equipment. And I think that'll be in the next video. I'll take this all the way home. We'll just go ahead and turn here. Because there's no cars on this map. Hopefully not roll it over for like the 10th time. Rolled it over going down there. Rolled it over with that load on on this bridge or this road right here. And it actually looks like there's lightning in the distance. No, there's actually not. It does look pretty cool though. It's actually a glitch in the map. So, but I kind of like that. I kind of like how that does that. You know, especially on like stormy days, you can think that there's a storm coming. Looks pretty sweet. But we're going to take this down to Wilson Stables. All the way down to the bottom of the map. And. We might actually go pick up attachments soon. Hopefully in the next video. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy and want to see some more FS19 content, go over to my channel. Links in the description. And if you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post at 7 o'clock every day. And we will see you all next time.